But to be successful, you have to be able to persevere. And so people see your success now, but you've had to overcome some obstacles. Cody's got it. Cody the distance. It's tough to be in another country, learning multiple languages. That's no hawk with the right hand. What a silly foul. As you may know, his dad, Joe Jellybean Bryant, played for many years in Italy, so that's where Kobe picked up the beautiful Italian. So our parents just immersed us in Italian culture. So we were just surrounded by Italian kids. We were just learning the language as they were. For me, growing up in isolation turned out to be a great strength. But it also turned out to be a weakness, too, and things that I kind of had to navigate through as my career went on. Oh, yeah, this guy grew up in Italy. And then he got dropped back in America. So now to move back at the age of 13, <laughs> In, in middle school and being completely different. You know, I had a hard time reading, I had a hard time kind of getting adjusted to the culture. What I remember would be him coming in as a kid and tremendous expectations. But I was reading all the stuff about uh, his high school coach saying they would they would get there and he would be shooting baskets in the dark. They hadn't even turned the lights on yet. When did you know no one is going to outwork me? I never looked at it as work. I didn't realize it was work until my first year in the NBA. The Aces of Lower Marion featuring the best player in high school basketball in 1995, Kobe Bryant. Because people want to assume that because someone has physical attributes, they don't have mental attributes. They always want to say that. Talk about academically, he speaks fluent Italian. There he is, Mr. Bright, flying, jamming, high riser. He scored 1,200 on his college boards. Good enough to get in any school. Uncommon amongst uncommon people. The exception among the exceptional. Yeah. Taking TV and recording star Brandy to his prom. That's the Kobe Bryant killing people right there. Remember 18-year-old Kool-Aid smile, fresh out of high school, bald, headed Kobe? You're the best player in the nation for anybody in high school. He has been one of the most followed high school athletes in this state all winter long. Kobe Bryant, who is going to go the distance up and slams it home. at home and that got him up out of the seats and some high fives hey kobe bryant kb taking it Rumors to the are right. flying all over that you're the one player here who's thinking seriously of making the transition right from the high school ranks to the professional ranks how serious is that part of your decision well it's definitely a possibility i think i'd be foolish not to look into that so mentioned in sports illustrated you said i'll go to college but if i don't think i can get better in college i'm just going to skip it that's just what i was going to ask him maybe he'll surprise me what's it going to be college or the nba Oh no, I haven't made up my mind yet. Oh, how about that? Oh, no. Wow. Kobe Bryant is for real. It's over. Laura Marion has won. 1996 state champs, and that ends a 53-year drought. And Kobe Bryant showed his true medal Show what he can do, and there's the young man that has been so ballyhooed and has packed this arena tonight. We saw a great poignant moment. Father Jellybean Joe Bryant, son Kobe, embracing. Uh, Kobe Bryant have decided to take my talent to uh, No, I have decided to skip college and take my talent to the NBA. What people don't know about that is I, I had a bet with my classmates on whether or not I would do that or not. Whether said, you would do what? You like the pause. Well, it's an opportunity of a lifetime. I feel it's time for me to go out and seize it while I'm still young. You have some people who, you know, were just hating on a 17-year-old kid. Is our high school superhero a star or starstruck? We don't want to People don't want to babysit an 18 or 19 year old kid. He can go get a shot for himself anytime he wants. In the NBA. Uh, Even in the NBA, he'll be able to create shots? Yes, he will. Deal. Yes, he will. So at the age of 18, I knew that I was not going to be stopped. This was my life. With the 13th pick in the 1996 NBA draft, the Charlotte Hornets select.
Kobe Bryant from Lower Marion High School in Pennsylvania. A coming out party for the high school kid. Jerry West told me today that greatness lies ahead for this young man. Thought he was going to be absolutely fantastic. Kobe Bryant, he was acquired from the Charlotte Hornets in the exchange for Vlade Divac. Everybody remembers that trade. Do you remember what you told me one day in the fall when I first met you? You said you were going to be the, the greatest player of all time. And he buries the three for his first NBA points. First time that he hadn't been a starter on his team, and the first time he hadn't been the best player, and the first time the coach had kind of had to criticize him. There were times I'd sit at the bench for seven straight games and then play the last 20 seconds of a game. And then... <laughs> we didn't even start for a year and a half. I knew I could play with these guys. I, I wasn't getting the opportunity to show it. A guy by the name of Dell Harris was a former coach of the Los Angeles Lakers. Dell Harris is a good man, but he lost his way with Kobe. Nice. Wow, did you see the move by the kid? Dell Harris wouldn't allow him to make fancy moves in practice. If he'd made a spectacular move, Dell wouldn't even count the basket. Showbo played a good game for his first game. I really look forward to going out. Have you autographed Showbo, Brian? Because Shaq is like, I'm Superman, Batman, I'm the big brother, you the little brother. Kobe wasn't trying to be anybody's little brother. Kobe fakes the pass. Remember when you first come in and said you wanted to be better than Michael Jordan? With a touch of authority looking a little bit like Michael. He was just special. Another thing you told me as an 18 year old, I'm going to be better than Mike. So I knew it definitely drove you. He was different from everyone else. Yeah, he had an aura about him that I've never seen an 18 year old. The aura was common. Either this kid's really cocky or he believes in it. Perfect timing. Yeah. And to accomplish all that coming from high school, not going to college, I think was great. Try Kobe Bryant. Kobe steals the ball. Watch him put on a show here. Bam. Kobe, Kobe. That got the fans out of their seats. Oh. Kobe. Kobe's played, he played really well, Chad. He earned a lot more minutes than he's been getting. The youngest player in the competition from the Los Angeles Lakers, Kobe Bryant. He, he's unstoppable, and uh, I'll label him the next Michael Jordan. <laughs> 18 and a half years old, third done. Kobe Bryant, Michael Fenley, and, and the way he worked at his skill level to become one of the most amazing scorers, one of the most amazing offensive players that we've ever seen. is Kobe Bryant. So Kobe Bryant, the young rookie, straight from high school. Eight seconds left. Bryant, guard about Russell. Five seconds left. Four. Bryant drives. Pull up. Because that air ball game where Kobe shot those air balls against Utah. Right, right, Van Exel, fake stock away. Cross court left, open, Kobe Bryant to three, another air ball. Kobe should not have been in the game. Shorty did, air ball, air ball. The young rookie, three times, he shot air balls, real pressure. Dell Harris put him in the game specifically to teach him a lesson because he got tired of Kobe. So front court, Jazz Ruby, Stockton, all over, eight seconds, seven seconds. Here's a three-pointer, air ball to the left. From Kobe Bryant, another air ball. Four seconds left. It's Stockton, it's over, it's over. I do believe. You know, I, I really felt that was a defining moment in his career. You know why? 
If somebody would have shot an air ball on our team and had shot a second one, they were going to shoot a third one. He was fearless. I think that's one of the things that spurred him to greatness. He wasn't going to allow himself to fail. You have to take the good with the bad, man. You're the captain of the ship. You go down with the ship. <laughs> Thanks, Ahmad. Well, there's a player in the game today that's been compared uh, more than anybody else to Michael Jordan. That's Kobe Bryant of the Lakers. It's like, what happened is when I came to the league, and I wanted to take more. Kobe Bryant shooting and hitting with Michael Jordan in his face. I called Kobe, and he was like, so what was it like? What's going to get Jordan? I was like, man, this is that black cat. We tried this, we tried that. But you know what? Well, you better get ready for the caramel cat. Show going on here between number 23 and number 8. Before the Black Mamba, before the Black Mamba, his nickname was the Caramel Cat. Pull away by Kobe Bryant. That's the future, and even Michael Jordan will tell you that Kobe Bryant, the future of the NBA, you're looking at the present and the future. I mean, all I heard was, you know, they called him Black Panther, they called him Black Jesus and all some stuff. So I want to see what this is about. Little advice from the master. But what happened is that we wound up, he wound up becoming a big brother. The kid, he's learned a lot in the short amount of time he's been in the league, and believe me, he's going to continue to learn. He was the closest thing to Michael Jordan that we saw. Hey, that was impressive. That was impressive. <laughs> right. He's impressed. <laughs> you know Michael Jordan is impressed with that. Kobe Bryant has sent a message that he is the future. This year, I, I can pinpoint things before they actually happen. Last year, I would go through games where everything was like, was like a blur. Oh, Kobe Bryant, the air. I can see things a lot more than I could last year. Bryant's minutes are up, his scoring is up, and he's upgraded his defense. Now the 19-year-old veteran is making the types of impression that Van Gogh and Monet would be proud of. He's the league's leading scorer off the bench, and much more. One inch taller, thanks to mom nature, and 10 pounds thicker after frequent trips to the weight room in the offseason. You had Mr. Brute Force and Shaq, and you had that aerial artistry of the younger Kobe. Back to Kobe! See, that's the ooh. He thought that he was going to be greater than MJ one when day. When you talk about the bridging of the two generations between Michael Jordan and then to Kobe Bryant. The players today talk about Kobe Bryant being their Michael Jordan. He, not LeBron, is the closest player to stylistically Michael Jordan. Get to the head and fly it by himself. You have those extreme winners that literally, to the exclusion of everything else, including their family, including you know other people, focus on just one thing. Anyway. Yeah, nobody works harder. Nobody. That's why they're and they they love to win in, the, in an almost psychotic way. That's one of the reasons why Shaq, as he would say, tried to slap him, <laughs> is because he was so cocky about what his intentions were. You guys had a fight several weeks ago. Did he connect on the punch he threw? No. <laughs> no, I was swift on the, on the duck. This is a team that uh, is talented. It's young. It's on the verge. I just had a chance to meet Kobe Bryant. He's dedicated. He's competitive. He reminds me a lot of Michael Jordan, and uh, there's not too many players that have ever done that in this game. Who's the best player you ever played with? Kobe. Number eight? Definitely Kobe. On the run, Kobe. On the reverse! Kobe just different, works hard, you know, getting, getting to the gym at about five, working on his jab steps, head fakes, making sure everything's perfect, and uh, that, that's Kobe. Kobe in his career had 40 game-winning minutes. The last shot, Suns by one. They're going to take it off the dribble. This is it now. Game's on the line. You're down one. And Kobe Bryant at the point.
with the winning basket with 2.6 seconds remaining. Where do you expect this team to be in the postseason? We're going to the finals. Is tied at three games apiece. This afternoon, it's put up or shut up. Yet they have lost three times this year once in the regular season and twice in this series to the Trailblazers on their home floor. The greatest duo to me, Shaq and Kobe. Those were co stars. They needed each other to be as great as they were. Well, the first thing that the Lakers have to realize is they've got 12 minutes to play with only a 13 point game. Not anymore. <laughs> Steve Smith hits on the run and it's 15. I don't think he goes to the after shot. I should have appreciated it more. Yeah. And Shaq is of the mindset, I should have appreciated you more too. That slammed down emphatically. Kobe Bryant into the lane. The fight for everything here. The assertiveness, the offense. Now Kobe gives him the two-point lead. But I think now both of them look back fondly and miss a little bit of what they did have. Portland has three timeouts left. The Lakers have two. Bryant. to Shaquille O'Neal makes it a six-point difference with 41 and 3 tenths seconds left. Tonight, game one, the Indiana Pacers versus the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, Kobe has been sensational throughout the playoffs, but more importantly, first-team all-defense. Now, he's going to be playing four different Pacers, but everybody's going to be waiting for that glamour matchup. Kobe versus Reggie. Here is Kobe. He is without question one of the 10 best players in the history of the league. Kobe Bryant cuts it to three. Doesn't take him long to get into the lane and hangs in the air. They really appreciated that competitive fire and it was that ability to sort of let it rip. Kobe Bryant. not care if anybody said you're too selfish you took too many shots like he's like well i think i'm the best option misses it shaw grabs the rebound that's a loose ball foul on shaq that'll be number six what a big play that's it shaq goes down all of a sudden you step up these are the kind of moments that you look for then. three years later in the nba finals that same move that I was showing him in my step back, he hit in game three after Shaq fouled out. Shaking on Miller. Hits the jump run and sort of gives it, you know, take your time, everything's cool. I'm not gonna let us lose this game. As he's running down the court, pats me on the button, and says, you never should have showed me that <laughs> step back. Kobe just literally takes the whole game and just puts it on his shoulder. Shot clock at 12. So you don't want to foul now because you got one to give. They won't shoot free throws. Back Shaq and Kobe, and they were co-stars who, in the end, they needed each other, Stephen A. Only got one. It's for this.